Hello future makers, welcome to Teacher Printer. The way you dress is an expression of your personality. Specifically, when you're going for a teacher interview and if you present yourself professionally, it will definitely enhance your chances of getting selected. Also, apart from your skills, right from the moment you enter the room, you are being judged for the way you've dressed, the way you are communicating and your body language. Dressing up for an interview may be pressurizing, but you do not have to worry because Teacher Pinar is here with the rescue. After all the love that we've received for how to dress up for a teaching interview female, we've also received a lot of comments asking for how to dress up for a teaching interview for males. And that's why here we are, how to dress up for a teaching interview specifically for males. So if you are a male who is preparing for a teaching job interview or any interview for that matter, then this video is a must watch for you. Do watch the whole video and do not miss out on any points because it might cost you your dream teaching job. Now without wasting any time, let's get started. The first and foremost point that I would like to urge all the males to do is to groom themselves. What I mean is, Cut your nails properly, groom your hair well, it should look neat, tidy and presentable. Shaving is mandatory before an interview. By shave, I do not mean clean shave, but at least your trim properly hona chahiye and it should look presentable. If you have a lot of hair, then you have to cut it and set it properly. That does not look presentable at all. Now coming to clothes. Males should usually wear a shirt and a pant for presentable look. Now these clothes have to be formal. Do not wear jeans and appear for an interview. It does not look professional at all. Also, a t-shirt is a big no-no. Some people justify wearing a t-shirt with a collar, but I would still say no. Always wear a proper shirt and pant, which is a formal attire for the interview. Coming to the color combination of these clothes, Always remember that if your shirt is light, then your pant could be dark and vice versa. If your shirt is dark, then your pant could be light. But choose neutral colors, not something very loud like red, orange. Such colors show up your personality in a bit negative manner because sara ka sara dhyan aapke shirt pe jata hai and not on your answers or your body language. Agar aapko sabse classy dikhna hai, then I would really suggest a white shirt. A plain white shirt which is very nicely washed and it does not have any stains on it, looks more presentable than anything else. Now coming to the sleeves of your shirt. Either you wear complete full sleeves, that is what I would suggest, but half sleeves ka shirt pen ke interview mein nahi jana hai. Agar aapko bahut garmi ho raha hai, then what you could do is, neatly you could fold your full sleeves into three-fourth sleeves, not half sleeve, three-fourth sleeve, which is this length, and that's how you look more presentable. Or, usko kaise bhi roll nahi karna hai, aur button yaha se khulla hooga, to woh bar bar niche girengi, aisa kuch nahi karna hai. What you should do is, Two to three folds mein aapka full sleeve yaha se yaha a jayega and that's how it will look more presentable. While choosing your clothes, always remember that solid plain colors are always effective as compared to checks or lines. For example, if you're wearing a shirt which has lines, then make sure that they are vertical lines and the space between the lines is a bit minimum. Jitna zada space hoga, utna wo dhyan kheechega. Rather, it should have less space so that it looks presentable. Agar aap checks wala shirt pen kar ja rahe ho, to checks bhi ho sake utne chote chote honne chahiye. Isse aapki jo overall personality hai, wo zada appealing lagi. Next, Always dress according to the weather. Agar garmiyo ka mausam chal raha hai, then please wear cotton breathable material. And if it's winter, you could wear a bit heavy fabric and full sleeve. Remember, if you're someone who sweats a lot, then use sweat pads over here. We don't want to see how much sweat you have in a day. Now comes a very important point. Wear a belt. But for that, you have to tuck in your shirt completely and neatly so that it looks presentable. Aisa nahi ki aage se achche se tuck kiya hai aur peechhe se wo bahar hai. It does not look good at all. You have to neatly tuck in your shirt and then wear a belt. Now, the buckle of the belt should be simple and subtle, not very revealing. Normal jaysa aap kapde pehrte ho, usi tarah pehrte jana hai. Some buckles that are really revealing the logo of a brand or some crocodile in particular, we do not wish to see you in that manner. Also, your belt color should match to your shoe color. 
इसके बाद वी टॉक मोर अबाउट शूज बट बिफोर शूज कम्स सॉक्स योर सॉक्स शुड बी प्लेन एंड यूजली इट शुड मैच योर ट्राउजर्स और पैंट सॉक्स पे कोई पैटर्न या कार्टून या बड़ी बड़ी लाइन नहीं होनी चाहिए इफ द सॉक्स इज सेम एज योर ट्राउजर्स इट विल लुक लाइक द होल लुक इज मोर प्रेजेंट नाउ कमिंग टू शूज आपके शूज सबसे पहले वेल well पॉलिश्ड होने चाहिए ऑल्सो आपका बेल्ट और आपके शूज का कलर मैचिंग होना चाहिए इसके अलावा यूजली पीपल प्रेफर बेज ब्राउन और ब्लैक कलर ओनली वाइल यूर गोइंग फॉर फॉर्मल शूज एंड इफ योर शूज आर पॉइंटेड इट विल मेक यू लुक मोर ऑथोरिटेटिव एंड नाइस You cannot come to an interview with sandals or those sandal type shoes that the old age people used to wear. Now, coming to tie. Tie is not necessary for a teaching job interview until unless it's for a higher position. If you are just going for the interview for a job of a teacher, then you may skip the tie. But in case you choose to wear a tie, then your tie should be in good color combination with your clothes. The tie should not have a lot of patterns, stripes, checks, or big bold prints. Your tie should be matching with your shirt, and your tie should look like a part of your attire and not something separate. Also, if you're wearing a tie, then the first button of your shirt has to be tucked in. And if you choose not to wear a tie, then you could keep it open. But if you have chest hair coming out, then kindly trim it or close the button. that would look more present now coming to accessories boys usually have only one accessory to wear which is a watch till date i have not seen any man in a formal attire wearing chains or rings or kadas but if you have a kada which is a part of something that you wear daily you could go for it but it should not be something out of the way or over the top always remember that your clothes have to be neatly ironed and pressed and free of any creases at all always carry one handkerchief at least in your pocket the handkerchief should also be folded and kept neatly and just not done like this and kept it because it will make the pocket look a bit bigger we don't want that carry a handkerchief and use it whenever you require to wipe sweat or dab your face people who wipe their sweat like this in an interview do not look presentable at all or kabhi na kabhi if you want to sneeze or touch up then a handkerchief is necessary so do carry one last but not the least dress up like you're already a part of the organization this will exhibit your confidence in an amazing manner and they will hopefully select you for the group so that's it for today's video thank you for watching the whole video at the end i would only like to tell you that if you do not present yourself well in an interview your chances of getting selected are getting minimal so hopefully with all the tips that we've discussed in today's video you'll groom yourself well present yourself well and get selected in your dream teaching job we wish you all the very best for your job interview if you like today's video do hit the like button comment and tell us what more videos would you like to watch on our channel regarding interviews share this video with your teacher friends and family and subscribe to teacherpreneur and press that bell icon so that you are a part of the future makers family see you soon